Hi everyone, I'm Louise from VDB Boom Pulse. Thank you for joining us for Sound Summit 2020. We would like to introduce you the new version of our Quarter Ten Boom Pull and share with you some tips. VDB is a family company founded by my father, Stefan Vandenberg, in 1984. He used to be boom operator and sound mixer for many years. Passionated by sound and very handy man, he started to design the boom pool of his dreams with all the features he would love to have for himself. His priority have always been to design a light, rigid and weight balanced pool. Over the years, VDB launched no less than 12 series, from four and five sections in the 80s to what we think to be our best products since 23 years now, the six section boom pool. We have a range of six models that can apply to any situation. Why six sections? With the years and experience, new constraints were implemented. We wanted a shorter folded system, extendable to a longer size. And six section was, in our opinion, the best ratio to achieve that. Let's take an example. Uh, our extra large pole is 18.4 feet. So 5.6 meters fully extended. Even though, thanks to the six section, it only measures 3.73 feet. So one meter 10 when fully collapsed. That makes the transport very easy. Well, now that you know that you want to make a six section boom pole, you have to choose the diameter of your sections. And this includes two concerns. The first one is um, that the tiny section must be able to receive a standard XLR uh, connector uh, in order to optionally insert and remove a cold cable uh, or straight cable in the pool without the use of any tool. The second one is that the external diameter um, is um, of the thicker section uh, remains ergonomic. We choose a mean value, which is the most comfortable posture for both small and bigger hands. We never change those diameters. That's why all the improvements we've made since remain compatible with the majority of our older pools, allowing us to fix booms up to 25 years old. Now that you have your structure comes the most important, the material. Being a fisherman for hobby, Stefan discovered the extremely light graphite fish pools compared to the heavy aluminum pools they were using at work. He decided then to design and manufacture the first carbon fiber boom pool in the world, developing the very first parallel pipes in carbon fiber. Nowadays, all the professional manufacturers offer boom poles in carbon fiber. And not only them, look, now all the cameras, recorders, they all have carbon structures. Actually, it was the lightweight material you could find 36 years ago, and it's still the case. Every year, we try different and new models of carbon to always ensure a constant improvement. Actually, you'll see that on this new version, the color is slightly different and the new model we had changed for is more rigid than the previous one. What guides us and makes our boom pole so unique are the super thin layers of carbon that makes them so light and actually the lightest you can find today in the industry. We have to be honest, it's again a compromise that implies they are more vulnerable face to aggressive uses and situations. But once again, a priority is lightness and perfect weight balance to provide the boom ups the best tool for an everyday use. VDB's choice allows presenting a large XL pool of 1m10 extendable to 5m6, weighing less than 750 grams, 1.6 pounds, and offering a bending not exceeding 44 centimeters horizontally for a weight of 1 kilogram applied at its top. By the way, a 1m10 extension is available, allowing our XL pool to reach 6m60, so 21.6 feet. Let's talk about locking collars. We launched it two years ago 
our latest and more precise technology, the quarter turn locking system that is quite a revolution on all the different ways. This quarter turn clockwise mechanism is the faster locking system and allows you to quietly adjust the length, just sliding out the tube during a take. It's also the unique system that has no threads and that's much more efficient than the traditional conical clamp, easier to clean and permits to dismantle the pole in a sec. It's that simple. Let me give you some tips. First one, holding both the ring and the insider section when tightening will improve the lifetime of the knuckle. Escorting will also enhance efficiency and render the hole gripping much stronger. Second tip, to avoid damaging your system, be smooth. That seems obvious, but if you use it right way, you don't need to force. Um, you will see a small variation in the new model that has a miniature screw in the first ring to avoid losing it when you use uh, your top screw as a quick release. Uh, we'll talk about the quick release in a few sec. Let's first talk um, about the different coats. The shining top coat over the bigger section absorb all the handling noise. There's just uh, the other section that have a matte outer covering to avoid light reflections on the set. On L and extra large boom pull, you can see that all along the sections, uh, color rings act as length markers. Once you have found the best uh, position, thanks to those markers, you can reset and easily remind your previous size. This is perfect for a low selling situation, for instance. Now let's talk about uh, the quick release. You may realize that on most of our models since the 90s and on our actual range, there um, is a quick release top screw. This is a proper accessory included with all our pulls that you should let screwed on all your different suspensions. This uh, removable tip helps you to be very fast when changing one to another. Um, as we are always in a major hurry, this is really a great tool. Uh, another tip when you need uh, a plant mic, just use our range of small adapters, top STMA. We have a different um, lengths of those, uh, longer ones to use for a transmitter uh, and smaller ones. Uh, it's exactly the same system. You let the quick release screw on the spigot, on magic arms, small rigs, or whatever you use, and switch it easily and quickly. Uh, for example, uh, your boom mic to your plant mic. Um, and thanks to the internal 383 screw, you can do different installation. You use it for steel bars and so on. Last but not least, let's have a look to our cable and caps. As said previously, all our booms can be wired internally without the use of any tool. The small models come with a standard plastic heel. The L and the XL comes with a soft rubber heel. This one is replaced by an XLR threaded heel when adding an internal removable cable. For handy use, you can add a rear side exit XLR. For those who don't use a wireless system, we also have the old style heel to be used with a straight cable. Thanks to the common diameters to all models, these accessories can be switched between your different VDB poles at your preference. If you want more tips, have a look to our other tutorial videos uh, on our YouTube channel and find uh, all our news on our social networks and new websites. Uh, last word to thanks uh, Sound Devices for organizing um, this great event and inviting us. Thank you for watching and see you soon.